Just few days after meeting Prime Minister Modi, Maldives president has kicked out a Chinese state-owned company from a major transshipment port project, and has awarded it to India. Hindustan Aeronautics has started further design refinements on its HLFT-42, and additional wind tunnel testing have been planned to fine-tune the platform. Optimus Unmanned Systems has unveiled its stealth unmanned system, that will cater to high-endurance missions for surveillance geomapping and reconnaissance. Indian Army is actively seeking to enhance the anti-drone capabilities of its armored fighting vehicles with fragmentation ammunition and directed energy weapons, as the existing 12.7mm anti-aircraft gun falls short when dealing with smaller drones. Bangalore-based Vachas Aerospace Private Limited has started testing engine charge amplifier, an item that was put on export blacklist by Denmark and the company will soon start deliveries, ensuring minimal disruption to the Tejas Mark 1A program. The Indian Navy held the opening ceremony of the 28th edition of Malabar 2024 Multinational Maritime Exercise. Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder for the procurement of 2,000 units of 5.56 by 45 mm rifles for UP police, which had fielded the DRDO developed CQB carbine. The Indian Air Force has asked the private sector companies to design and develop a road mobile tethered air stat system with integrated radar and communication capabilities. The Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared the Phase 1 of Project 77, that includes construction of two next-generation nuclear-powered attack submarines initially, that is estimated to cost 34,500 crore rupees. Four more submarines will be built in Phase 2 and Phase 3, that will come with new improvements. It will have a displacement of 6,000 tons, with more than 90% indigenous content. The Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared the acquisition of 31 Predator drones from the US, that will come equipped with Hellfire missiles, GBU 39B precision guided bombs, and high fire rotary cannon. Some of the 31 acquired drones will be assembled locally with 30% components sourced from Indian suppliers, but it will not have any DRDO developed missile, as the cost of integrating an indigenous missile is very high. The competition for six Project 75i submarine tender has taken an unexpected turn, as the Spanish shipbuilder Nevancia has urged the Indian Ministry of Defense to decide the winner of the Project 75i contract based on a price discovery method, rather than relying on the results of the AIP field evaluation trials. Nevancia has offered the S80 Plus submarines at a more competitive cost while German submarine will cost significantly higher, and Nevancia's push for a price-based decision could sway the Indian Defence Ministry if cost becomes a critical factor. The Director of Avionics and Weapons Systems at the Aeronautical Development Agency has said, that the initial Tejas Mark II prototype will have over 70% indigenous components, and it will achieve a remarkable 90% indigenous content when it enters production in 2031. The Tejas Mark II program has benefited from the slight delay, as engineers have been able to leverage this period to prioritize the development of indigenous components, that ensures greater control over production maintenance and future upgrades. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.